this jungle area called Hueso. Then I believed. Because the spiders are this big, and the frogs are this big. Just everything is looks insane. In our world, the Congo is considered the ideal habitat for mysterious creatures. Half of its territory comprises dense tropical forests with abundant flora, providing ample cover for these beings. This video showcases the most terrifying discoveries in the Congo, guaranteed to instill fear in anyone who watches. Giant, terrifying spiders, often the stuff of nightmares, are a staple of horror fiction. But what if these two-meter monsters were real? The Baka tribe of Congo believes in the existence of such creatures, which they call Jaba Fofi, translating to giant spider. Their fame surged in 2008, notably featured in the series Monster Quest, yet their lore dates back to the late 19th century. In 1890, missionary Arthur Sims encountered a colossal web at Lake Nyasa, allegedly belonging to a massive spider. As Sims and his team investigated, they were attacked by monstrous spiders exceeding a meter in height. Another notable encounter occurred in 1938 when the Lloyd couple spotted a spider resembling a gigantic tarantula in Zimbabwe. Researcher William Gibbons delved into the mystery in 1980, consulting the Baca tribe, who described the brown spiders measuring 100 to 120 centimeters in length. These creatures, dwelling in caves and forests, spin webs to ensnare small mammals and birds. Despite their purported danger, their population dwindles due to the destruction of their nests. Cobalt, a highly sought-after mineral essential for heat-resistant and super-hard coatings, is primarily mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo (DRC), making it the world's leading producer. However, the harsh realities of cobalt mining in the DRC are often overlooked. Thousands of individuals migrate to remote areas in search of lucrative employment opportunities, only to find themselves trapped in a cycle of exploitation resembling modern slavery. Many small-scale mines, responsible for about 30% of cobalt extraction, operate under deplorable conditions where human rights violations are rampant. Children toil under the scorching sun, risking injury and death in perilous underground tunnels. Despite growing concerns from human rights organizations, halting such production remains challenging due to widespread poverty, compelling many Congolese to prioritize income over personal well-being. According to Congolese legends, a fearsome reptile lurks in the swamps near Lake Lakawala, a creature one should never encounter. With a body length reaching 15 meters, it conceals itself in the marsh, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey. When the moment strikes, it lunges out, ensnaring its victim with its massive jaws. Local residents refer to this creature as Muhammad, describing it as unlike any known animal or reptile, likening it to other mythical creatures such as the Uncoli, Orton, Guma, or Monin. Drawing from detailed accounts, some cryptozoologists theorize that Muhammad could be a freshwater relic of mosasaurs, believed extinct since the end of the Cretaceous period. Alternatively, it may be a descendant of prehistoric crocodiles like the Deinosuchus or Sarcosuchus. Despite no confirmed sightings, the indigenous Bobangi tribe maintains a belief in Muhammad's existence, avoiding the specific areas of Lakawala where it is said to reside at all costs. According to Darwin's theory, monkeys gradually evolved into humans over a lengthy process of evolution. Our closest relatives are chimpanzees, with over 375 different species identified. While the average male chimpanzee stands at around 150 centimeters tall, a remarkable discovery in the Congo challenged this notion. 
In 2003, National Geographic reported the sensational finding of a new species of chimpanzees in the Bili forest of northern Congo. These primates, resembling hybrids of gorillas and chimpanzees, astonished locals with their massive size, reaching heights of up to 180 centimeters. Incredibly strong, they are even capable of taking down lions. Unlike typical chimpanzees, they exhibit a gorilla-like physique, walk upright, and construct ground nests instead of in trees. Despite these similarities, they do not coexist with gorillas, and their diet is closer to that of chimpanzees. Encounter reports by primate ecologist Shelley Williams described close interactions with these imposing primates, indicating a distinct behavior from other monkeys. Their behavior towards humans also stands out, with the billy chimpanzees observing hunters closely before retreating, suggesting a recognition akin to kinship. Currently, scientists are conducting detailed research on these enigmatic chimpanzees, exploring theories ranging from large individuals of known species to potential hybrids or even a new species of great apes. If confirmed, their discovery would mark a significant zoological milestone in the 21st century. Nineteen fifty nine, Belgian Colonel Remy van Leerd had an unbelievable encounter with a snake while flying over the jungles in the Katanga region. The snake had green and brown coloring on its back and sides with a milky hue underneath, spanning an estimated length of about fifteen meters. Astonished by its size, the colonel ordered the helicopter to fly over it again, during which the snake raised its head to a height of at least three meters, as if warning of a possible attack. The colonel quickly returned to the base and managed to capture images of the giant snake, providing evidence of its existence. Scientists speculated that it could be a mutated giant African rock python, a new species of snake, or a descendant of an ancient Eocene snake. These photographs demonstrate that the tropical forests of Congo conceal numerous mysterious creatures, suggesting the possibility of extinct species surviving in these inaccessible areas. Megaliths are scattered across almost every corner of the earth, with Stonehenge in England being the most famous site featuring such structures. Africa also boasts astonishing patterns made of huge stones. Despite their prevalence, the origins and purposes of megaliths remain unknown, perplexing scientists. Particularly baffling is the fact that they were constructed using primitive tools, making their creation seemingly impossible. While some associate megaliths with extraterrestrial civilizations, the lack of evidence to support this theory leaves the question of their origins unanswered, continuing to perplex modern humans. The mid-19th century, travelers shared tales of the largest gorillas inhabiting Congo's mountainous regions. It wasn't until 1902 that German Captain Oscar von Berenga encountered these primates, later named Beringa gorillas. Standing up to two meters tall and weighing over 200 kilograms, they inhabited the slopes of six dormant volcanoes in the Virunga mountain range. Despite challenges, American primatologist Diane Fosse persisted in studying and conserving them, ultimately preserving their rare species. Today, Beringe gorillas, numbering around 1,000, are found only in Uganda's National Park and the Virunga Volcanic Mountains, their existence still threatened. The people of Congo have long believed in the existence of a terrifying creature known as Zaire, or Dinganek. According to Congolese legends, this monster inhabits the rivers and lakes of West Africa, growing up to 3.5 meters in height. It possesses a square head with a long horn, powerful fangs, a saber-like tail with a venomous stinger at the tip, and tough, leopard-like scales covering its skin. The Dinganek fiercely guards its territory, attacking crocodiles, hippos, and even humans. In 1907, 
African explorer John Alfred Jordan encountered this creature firsthand while exploring the Magori River. Witnessing the monster emerge from the water, Jordan described it as approximately four meters long, covered in scales, with a long tail armed with fangs and tusks. The encounter left Jordan and the locals terrified, prompting them to flee the area and never return. I've delved into the realm of Congo's colossal creatures extensively, but many remain elusive. Now let's shift our focus to the realm of insects, where Congo hosts some of the largest specimens on Earth. First up, the Goliath beetle, a behemoth among beetles, reaching lengths of up to 11.5 centimeters and weighing between 50 to 100 grams. Then, Behold the giant African millipede, boasting an impressive body length of 38.5 centimeters and a thickness of 2 centimeters, though its appearance may deter some from close encounters. Lastly, we have the giant praying mantis, a formidable predator growing up to 17 centimeters long. These mighty insects command respect in the tropical jungles of Congo. In the quaint town of Manono in the Tanganyika province, locals stumbled upon peculiar stones that sparked intrigue. They claimed these minerals held an unusual electric potential, sparking fascination and viral videos online. Footage showcased dramatic sparks when the stones were rubbed together, even lighting up a bulb in one instance. Speculation soared, likening them to Marvel's vibranium. While scientists remain skeptical, these enigmatic stones await further study, hinting at the possibility of a remarkable discovery in the heart of Congo. Yet another cryptid rumored to roam the depths of Congo is the Emelan Tuka, a mythical beast resembling a rhinoceros with deadly capabilities. According to local tales, it boasts a massive body and a formidable horn capable of felling elephants with ease. Unlike its earthly counterpart, the Emelan Tuka sports a long neck reminiscent of a crocodile's folds. Reports of this enigmatic creature date back to 1913, documented by explorer Hans Schoenberg after gathering accounts from the Claw tribe in Liberia. In the early 21st century, a Congolese resident claimed to have slain one, sparking intrigue and prompting a documentary. Though it's deemed an herbivore, its alleged attacks on other wildlife fuel speculation, drawing comparisons to ancient herbivorous dinosaurs. Cryptozoologists ponder the possibility of surviving descendants hiding within Congo's impenetrable forests. Two hundred and forty-three million years ago, Earth was home to a diverse array of ancient creatures. The dinosaurs, numbering over 1,000 species during the Triassic and Jurassic periods. However, about 201 million years ago, they met a mysterious demise, leaving behind a puzzle for scientists. Theories abound, from climate change to asteroid impacts, but the exact cause remains elusive. Yet, what if some of these creatures survived? Legions from various cultures, including the Loch Ness Monster and Ogopogo, hint at such possibilities. Among these legends is the Congolese tale of the Mokele Mbembe, the one that stops the flow of rivers. According to local lore, this creature resides in Lake Tele, emerging during the day to feed on fruits and leaves and retreating to the lake's depths at night. Despite its herbivorous diet, it's described as aggressive, instilling fear in those who might encounter it. Witnesses describe it as resembling a sauropod with smooth brown-gray skin, the size of an adult elephant, featuring a long neck, a single large tooth or horn, and a scaly tail akin to an alligator's. Expeditions in search of the Mokele Membe have yielded tracks on the lake's shores, yet definitive proof remains elusive. Nonetheless, the locals' identification of sauropod images as the creature fuels speculation among cryptozoologists that perhaps, against all odds, 
dinosaurs persist into the present day. Certainly, it's perplexing to imagine that large flying dinosaurs could persist unseen, leaving no trace of their existence. Yet, the people of Congo remain steadfast in their belief in the presence of ancient creatures within their forests, including one known as the Kongamato, meaning overwhelmer of boats in the local tongue. Legend has it that these massive flying beasts, boasting wingspans of four to seven meters, dwell near swamps and rivers, showing aggression towards fishermen. The first recorded encounter with the Kongamato dates back to 1932, when American zoologist Ivone Sanderson narrowly escaped an attack by a toothed monster, firing shots that seemed to have no effect on the creature. In 1956, Engineer Brown reported seeing similar creatures near Lake Bangwulu, resembling giant eagles but with peculiar heads and tails. Another account from 1957 describes a patient hospitalized with a severe chest wound, allegedly caused by a monstrous being with large wings, teeth, and claws in the swamps of Bangwulu. Although concrete evidence is lacking, Eyewitness testimonies lead cryptozoologists to speculate that these encounters could involve descendants of pterosaurs. In November 2020, the world was startled by the discovery of the first mystical monolith in the United States, specifically in Utah. Following this enigmatic find, gleaming monoliths began to surface one after another across the globe, from Germany to the United Kingdom, Romania, and beyond. However, in February 2021, a mysterious monolith emerged in the heart of Congo's capital, Kinshasa. Unlike their European counterparts, local residents greeted this structure with suspicion, viewing it as potentially linked to dark forces. In response, city authorities opted to guard the monolith until a thorough investigation could be conducted. The Congolese, known for their superstitions, even attempted to destroy and burn the structure, fearing its ominous presence. Despite efforts to unravel the mystery, determining the origins of these monoliths has proven elusive, with no evidence of their transportation or installation discovered. Some UFO enthusiasts and internet users have drawn parallels between these mysterious monoliths and peculiar objects found in images of Mercury, Phobos, and Mars, fueling speculation that they may be the handiwork of extraterrestrial beings. In 2021, a serendipitous discovery shook the residents of the South Kivu province in the Democratic Republic of Congo. An astonishing 90% of the rock in the Luhiji Mountain was found to be infused with gold. Word of this remarkable revelation spread like wildfire, drawing thousands of impoverished individuals to the mountain's base in hopes of securing their share of the precious ore. Armed with shovels, picks, and even their bare hands, these determined prospectors set out to extract the valuable metal. Remarkably, even employing the most rudimentary methods of gold panning yielded a significant bounty. However, the jubilation of the local residents was short-lived as authorities swiftly intervened, prohibiting access to the mountain and imposing registration requirements for those who had managed to extract gold. This measure aimed to reclaim the gold for the state treasury. Despite Congo's vast mineral wealth, including diamonds, gold, oil, and various ores, the country's riches have failed to translate into improved living standards for its people. To this day, the Democratic Republic of Congo remains one of the world's poorest nations, with approximately 96% of its population lacking access to essential services such as healthcare, electricity, and clean water. We have reached the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.